guys, thank you for joining me here today. My name is Chai and welcome to my channel. My goal is to empower you to shine your unique light into the world. With that said, let's get started. Hey, hi guys. Okay, so yes, it is that beautiful time again, okay? So now just to let you know beforehand, this is a 18 plus video, all right? So the title is what makes you so attractive and so sexy AF, all right? So letting you know I'm uh, no holds bar now. Now just letting you know also that I am actually going to go ahead and substitute words that, you know, may be a little bit rated R. So I wanted to make sure that it's censored for YouTube, okay? But use your imagination when I do use those substituted words, okay? So with that said, let's get straight to your piles. All right, so the title is again is What Makes You So Attractive and Super Super Sexy AF, okay? So first pile, you would be getting this beautiful feather here. Pile number one. Pile number two, you're gonna get this witch wand, right? Pile number three, this is the jade roller, right? And then pile number four, this is the selenite wand, right? So, <laughs> it's very, <laughs> it's nice. It's a selenite wand. That's not what you think. <laughs> But with that said, go ahead, take some time and um, down, if you're new to pick a piles or pick a cards, uh, down in the description, down below, I will be listing the timestamps. Uh, now you are allowed to go ahead and dive into your intuition. If you feel like you resonate with all of them or at least one or two or just one, that's okay. So go with your gut feeling, okay? So with that said, I will see you in your pile. <laughs> Hi guys, if you picked out this timestamp, it is for group number one. Yes, hi, group one. Thanks for joining me here. Yay. All right, so just to make sure, I want to make sure that you know that this is an 18 plus video, okay? Meaning there will be a lot of things that uh, anyone who is under 18 or not sexually active, at least, um, you know, it, whatever your lifestyle is, if you're under 18, please do not watch this. I do not condone that. It's not, you know, I don't want to be responsible for that. So, this is a video that's going to express what, like it's gonna let you know why people see you as someone who's super attractive and super sexy AF, okay? And you know what AF stands for. If you don't, just look it up. So with that said, I'm gonna keep, like I said, if you don't watch the intro, um, I did say I'm gonna use uh, censored words, but it's gonna be like a substitute words for those those jargons and stuff or the, you know, the, the things that I need to express. Now, group number one, you have picked out the feather, okay? So this really tells me that you love to either tickle your lover or, uh, you know, may that be a, a long-term lover or even just a one-night stand, no judgment here, you know? Um, but I feel like you're the type of person that really likes to have fun, really, really just kind of want it nice and light, nothing heavy, but you do, you it's almost like you're very dreamy, right? You may be the type of person that really wants to set the mood, okay? You're very into ambiance. That's what I feel. I feel like you're you're like an angel, right? Whether you are, you know, whatever your gender that you uh, resonate with, um, this makes me feel and it lets me know that you are very, very gentle, okay? Uh, you're gentle to your lover. You really want people to feel comfortable with you. And you have a very tactful and loving way to express that and to give that kind of love in the bedroom to your lover, okay? So let's put this aside and we're going to dive deeper with cards. Oh, actually, before we do that, I'm going to do this for every single... I have a surprise for you guys. So boom. Yes, that's right. Look at how much we have here, okay? So basically, I'm going to move this to a side here and then we're going to drop it right over here, okay? So I... Uh, spent some time to channel some messages here for you guys to let us know, like the title said, why or what makes you super attractive and super sexy AF, okay? So to other people or past lovers or your current lover um, or even future lovers, why do they feel like you're so attractive and super sexy AF? Pile number one, this is your uh, channeled messages here. I'm going to put this aside. Okay, so let's see what you've got here, all right? And then I'm going to pull some cards as well, but we're going to go through gradually. All right, so group number one, you, your lashes. Oh my gosh, seriously. I mean, this is kind of like, if you, when you think about the feathers, it's kind of, it does remind you of the lashes, right? So this tells me that 
because this is a very full feather, I feel like your lashes are really full, right? But keep in mind, you know, if you don't resonate with that part, that's okay. You have plenty more. This is a general reading, so I am reading for a lot of people, okay? We're talking about a lot of people. Um, so your eyelashes, uh, your eyelashes, something about your eyelashes that make people go head over heel for you. And it, you look so friggin' sexy. Okay. You're sexy AF because your lashes, it, it feels like if you are a person who, um, uh, who likes to wear makeup, right? You don't even need the makeup. Like literally you do not need the makeup at all to enhance the, the lashes. You've been really blessed. Okay. You've been really blessed with your lashes. Um, okay, so let's move forward. I'm going to pull some tarot cards to let us know what is it about you that makes you super, super sexy AF, okay? Because I, I feel like every time when uh, we talk about the, the you know, uh, the letters AF, it's like, it's like super extremely to the core. And this is why I wanted to make this video because I feel like we are in need of some pick-me-up here, okay? Oh, yes, two of them. Spirit said, just pull those two out. So let's see here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I just channeled something here. I just saw an image of someone pulling their lover off the bed and you guys are giggling so hard. You guys are giggling so hard. I feel like you guys are really playful. It kind of makes sense. Like you, you, the way that you make love, it feels like, it feels like you first lighten the, the mood. Like you are so talented that you can really, really break down the ice really easily. You know, it feels like you just put some, you may be an air sign too, because if you pick out this feather, you have some charm, okay? You have a really great um, air ability, kind of like either you blow into their ears uh, or you uh, do light kisses on the body. Um, you may be an air sign where, um, you know, maybe you're very good with your words or your expression, right? But I feel like mostly it's that the, the air quality, you really give that airy feeling like dreamy. So let's see what we've got here. Okay. Wolf moon. I will watch over you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Group number one, you are are the most protective lover ever okay and this kind of reminds me of that idea if you guys you know have watched the movie twilight right and lichens or wool uh werewolves they are to be imprinted right and you see how how this wolf is imprinted on this this uh woman here right and i don't read gender specifics but just to let you know kind of give you that idea when you imprint on a person, it's like they cannot detach. You have this mysterious, right? Airy, mysterious, just very, um, ooh, super sexy, that's for sure. I feel like something about your hair, you may have streaks in your hair, right? Maybe highlights in your hair. I think that with you, the way that you make love, you make love in phases. You love taking your time to go through that phase and stage whenever you're making love. Um, I feel like Wolf Moon, um, it, you can also get pretty, pretty, um, <laughs> what was that word? Just uh, pretty, uh, pretty hot, right? Pretty hot in the bedroom. <laughs> you may howl that that could be a thing, or you may, you may be such a great lover in the bedroom that you make your lover howl at the moon, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Group number one. Okay. So the delicate fairy and her ferrets. Okay. All right. So because of all of these animals here, and especially they're very similar in terms of like furry, you may be a furry, right? But I think you also may, and you know, it's kind of funny, furs or feathers, right? You may be into like, um, uh, you know, I, I have to say, I hope YouTube doesn't um, take off this video, uh, but the, the word bestiality kind of idea, you know, you just like, you may be into something that's very different, right? <laughs> This is an 18 plus video, so if you're under 18, please hop off. Um, so the delicate fairy and her, her ferrets. I feel like number one and number 24. So number 24 is added up to number six, and that talks about the body, okay? The body, the home, the physical home, right? You, like I said, the ambiance, um, that moon uh, phase, you love to set everything up. You're very romantic, okay? You are very romantic. I think you're a night person. 
Um, I feel like you are super, super adept when it comes to like your sensuality, the way that you express yourself. You may love really long nails because these guys here, right? They like, they have like pointy nails or at least a good grip. Like you, I feel like you are the type of lover that when you make love to a person or your lover, you will make them feel like they wish they had nails to, to, to hold on to you or to scratch your back, okay? <laughs> to sink their nails into your back or something. Or or maybe you like to bite, right? It's, it's so funny. It, oh my gosh. <laughs> so let's dive deeper. You have a whole lot here, okay? So the way I read today is going to be very different because I, oh my goodness, look at this. Your intelligence, you're super, super smart. Ferrets are really smart, okay? Um, this also tells me that you may have really long, like a longer torso. Uh, if you don't resonate with that, you know, uh, there's a bunch of you guys here in this group that does have like a really long torsos, but the way that you... Um, just the way that you carry yourself, it you people can't tell. Uh, not that it's a bad thing to have a long torso. It just means that you have like uh, a very different kind of body and you really know how to work your long body, okay? You may be long and slender and tall or you may just carry yourself in a way that kind of reminds you of um, a ferret. Like they like to to be very... Um, you know, go here, here, here. So that maybe that's the way that you make love, right? Maybe that's the way that you make love. Um, but I do know that wolves have very great um, muscles, right? So you may have a very um, kind of like uh, maybe a six pack or even if you don't have that type of uh, physique, you are very agile. So I feel like these two uh, types of animals can really be very agile and very quick. Um, you know, I feel like you like to interchange when you do make love. Um, you know, your intelligence, you're very smart, even in the way that you make love. So I feel like because of your intelligence, you can really think of ideas to, to kind of spice things up. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, that was confirmation right there. Group one. All right. So let's see what else how flexible your body is oh my gosh yes ferrets they're very slinky like the way that they move right they're very flexible <laughs> yes you are so flexible and you know people love that because then we can kind of like you know move you around in ways that that gets you in a certain position and positions within the bedroom you know the way that your body moves and how you position yourself and you know hitting making sure that you hit the g spot it's very important and you know how to do that okay group one you know how to do that oh my goodness let's dive deeper Ooh. All right, so how fun you are in the bed. Like I said, right, didn't we say this before we even opened this up? You are so much fun. You're so much fun. Like when people get with you, right, when when a person gets with you, it's almost like they feel like they're in a playground and they feel like they can really, really let go, really let loose, really allow themselves to flow like the air, like a feather in the sky, you know, just allow the wind to take them. And that's how you, that's how you do it. You have fun with people, right? You have fun with them. Very, very beautiful. Um, let's see what else here. Boom, you're piercing. So I believe that there's a lot of you guys here have piercings that are, um, you know, sometimes maybe hidden, right? Hidden piercing, piercings. So maybe you have piercings, um, you know, down below, right? Or I feel like I see a lot of navel piercings, but I think like these piercings, like you may be very, very kinky and, and you love having, uh, piercing, piercings in areas that will stimulate, right? Stimulate that, that meridian, um, I say in hidden places because you've got the full moon here, okay? But it's almost like you know where to place your piercings in order to maximize the stimulation. I think that's something that you're very good at. The reason why I say that is because you've got the um, how intelligent you are, okay? That's why. Um, you know, piercings, it's almost like piercing around the ear area. So to prevent headaches, it's kind of like that. You're very specific about where you want to place your piercings and people love that about you. Oh my gosh, your lover is like smitten. Okay. So your drive, of course, your drive, 
Yes, you are like that lichen. You are like that that wolf, right? That beautiful, um, you know, oh my gosh, that, that beautiful uh, canine that's really like, mm, you know, you, you better, you better have, you, you better, it's almost like I hear something like, you better save up your energy for that person. You're going to have a night with them because they're going to rock your world. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I hear. It's amazing. I feel like, um, y'all going to need a, a cold shower after the streaming. <laughs> okay. So you are extremely good with your fingers. Oh my swirl. Okay. <laughs> So I feel like there's uh, a lot of you guys here that are very, very good with your fingers. Okay, so look at this. And I kind of had a, I kind of had an idea, an idea that you guys were because how like immediately when I looked at this card, right, I think about the fingers, the, the limbs, especially the, uh, you know, appendages, right? So when I look at her finger, right, and then all of a sudden this comes out, I'm like, oh, they're very good with their fingers. Let's see if that card, that uh, note comes out and it came out. So let's see here. What else do we have here? And then we're going to pull uh, some more tarot, okay? So you are a generous lover. Yes. Yes, indeed. You're so generous. You're like, you're the type of lover that everybody wants to be with or at least have a one night with you. Like having that experience with you is the best thing that anybody can ever have. And that's what I really love about you guys, group one. So we have two more. We're going to save that for the last, but let's pull... Let's pull a beautiful, dun, 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 dun. Uh, lover's card. Oh, wow. Okay, you've got three. I'm trying to keep this at uh, 15 minutes, but I guess that's going to go over. Uh, seek the truth, right? Look at the way this curtain splits, right? You are very good with splitting some curtains, okay? And <laughs> like a dedicated effort, you put your all in into this, all right? This is what I'm talking about. Base chakra, come on. You can't. You can't make this up. You guys saw all the cards fell down. And base chakra is really about that fight or flight, but it also talks about that drive, okay? You're passionate, and you're very good with your words, okay? That's total confirmation. The way that you speak makes people change your, their their mind about something if they oppose it. And you're very good with that, okay? So how you are open to trying things in the bed. What? You're the perfect lover here, group number one. It's crazy. Let's see what else. Your physical strength. <laughs> yes, we were talking about agility, right? And wolves are very strong, all right? You're flexible, you're strong, you're super sexy. Oh my gosh, group number one, I hope you guys had so much fun. Um, if you wanna have some more fun, you can go ahead and check out all the other piles. With that said, I'll meet you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>
and that's that could be a good thing okay but there's no judgment here everybody is entitled to do as they wish as they please and remember keep in mind um i do not read gender specific so i'm just reading your energy okay so let's start with i've got a surprise for you guys here if you didn't see um actually i didn't even mention it in the intro because i was just like you know what they're gonna they're gonna look at it so basically i spent some beautiful time to make sure that i channeled these beautiful sexy messages for you okay so let's see here time for group number two what are you guys all about why do people feel that you are super super attractive and super sexy af oh that's a lot you guys are super sexy here oh and the bowl's heavy so i feel like okay so since the bowl is heavy in my hands for some reason i feel like you guys are the type of lover that really really want to lay it thick like you don't skimp okay you do not skimp on your lover. I feel like when you really want the dessert to be sweet, it is going to be decadent. It is going to be something that people want to have more of. Okay. So let's see what you've got here. All right. So boom, the way you amp. Oh my gosh. Yes. We were just talking about it, right? So the way you amp up in the bedroom and the right time at the right time, space and places. Wink. <gasps> What? Group number two. You guys are so, oh my gosh, you guys are so charming. I feel like you guys really know, like I said, and it's not for not, and it's not for like, not a lack of effort, okay? You are very, very dedicated. So this is why you are, you get good at what you do. Say, for example, you really want your mouth game to be on point. You will literally practice that, okay? And you are great listeners for some reason. I feel like you really know how to hone in right hone into the tip to make sure that everything is perfect <laughs> so anyway so uh, let's open some more and then i'm going to do some cards okay so group number two your toe cleavage oh my god somebody has got like you know some fetish with the toe cleavage here <laughs> so basically if you don't know what that is it's basically when you wear um you know it's almost like the the chest area cleavage right your breast cleavage but on your toes, like that, that little connection where your, your, your toes are, uh, where it meets the, the top of your foot. Um, yeah, I don't know if I explained that properly, but that's, that's what it is. And I feel like you can attract very different types of fetish people. I feel like that's what you attract. You may not be a fetish person yourself, but the way that you are and how you present yourself or maybe like even when you wear certain things on your feet, um, I feel like either you love toe cleavage and you express that so that you attract the same type of lover or you just attract lovers that really love your freaking toes, okay? Group number two, you have really nice feet. You really may take really great care of your feet. Like, your pedicure is a thing for you, and that's awesome. So, let's see here. What, what Spirit, show us more. Show us how sexy AF they are. All right, babies. Let's see here. How sexy are you guys, okay? Because I'm feeling pretty hot in the room right now. Oof. Candles. I just saw candles. Somebody really, really loves candles. Okay. More? No. All right. So let's see. Boom. <gasps> what? <laughs> number 16 equals up to number seven. You are a very spiritual individual. Okay. If you don't realize that uh, yet, you are. Energy does not lie. So 16 is talking about... Um, spiritual seven uh you know the way that you connect in the ethereal you have a lot of imagination to bring it down to make sure that you provide okay you're a provider now bitch fire stand up for yourself you have great confidence okay maybe that's why i saw the fire with the candle it's because you are very confident okay you may have some confident stuff in here so let's see let's let's um ooh. Mm -hmm group number two all right so you know how i said you're very dedicated but you can also be one of those people that are very specific very picky about your lover right i i i hear some dominatrix energy here i can feel hear it i can you know it's like maybe you like candle burning or whatever you know always be safe 
but I feel like you guys are into toys, into things that are different, but you're very specific about who you show that to. All right, so let's see. Group number two, your ambition. You are ambitious. Oh, you are. Group number two, you're so ambitious. And this is why you get really good at the stuff and you get, you stay dedicated because you are ambitious, okay? And you're ambitious also, like you, you know that you deserve more and to have a great lover and to have somebody who can actually match your energy. And this is why you're like, you know, I, I gotta be a little picky here, okay? So let's pull some more. Mm. Oh, the way that you smell. That's so nice. I feel like there are lots of you that have actually really good natural body odor. Um, some of you may actually smell like a baby, like a fresh born baby. I love that smell. Um, but others of you have like this really sweet, subtle, but sweet. Like you can kind of smell it. It's, it's so strange, but you smell like a flower. Um, what else? Mmm, cedar, cedar wood. I smell cedar wood. I just smelled like cedar wood. Um, somebody really loves uh, nature, but like cedar wood candle or something like that. That smells really good. Um, let's see here. When you wear erotic outfits. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm telling you, bitch fire. Okay, stand up for yourself. I feel like, I feel like the dom... Did I say dominatrix? Did I not say that earlier? Yes, I did. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, you guys are so sexy. So sexy. Oh. All right, so let's see here. Ooh, somebody is into like binding. You know what binding is, right? When you get tied up in, in the bedroom, the way you cook. Okay, wow, what a um jump from that to this. <laughs> I feel like I just saw... Oh, well, I saw and I felt it. At first, I felt the skin, right? So I feel like most... So if you're cooking for a lover, I feel like you may only just wear an apron. That's all you do. And you may have done that before for your lover. I feel like you've done that before. Because I saw, right? But it was a a it was a, uh, a male's body um, that was just wearing the apron. Um, so maybe you were cooking for your lover the way you cook. <laughs> oh my gosh. The way that you cook it's not even what you cook but the way that you cook okay you may like start whipping something up and licking your lips i have no idea like you're doing something that's very erotic here that's that's steamy it gets some steamy okay um, like i said you may have to take a cold shower after this reading okay so let's see here boom oh the shape of your eyes <gasps> Somebody has really pretty droopy eyes though, like, I don't know, like dreamy droopy, like, oh, so cute, so cute. I just saw that, aww. All right, so the way you bite your bottom lips, when you get nervous, the way you bite your bottom lips when you get nervous, I think that you have a lot of like quirky, cute, sexy uh, way of expression right but let me pull some more cards all right so let's see what tarot cards is good for you spirit show us some more for group number two they are you know they're really sexy oh they really are all right group two let's see what you've got here okay we got more to open but I just want to see what your main energy is like i'm really interested in finding out here group number two group number two oh Oh my gosh. Okay, so those cards fell. Let me just pick those up with my feet. I feel like, um, I think we got some, I don't know, uh, you know, some cultures here that like to pick things up with their feet. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Oh my swirl, look at this. <sighs> let's talk about dominatrix, right? The devil energy and the emperor you love to be either submissive or you will love it when your lover is submissive or you maybe even like when we say harmony we're talking about matching energies where um there's this energy of you really really allowing your partner to take over you and then vice versa it's it's super super steamy here okay super steamy one more yes yep change in their world after they make love to you there is 
but no one else that can probably compare. I'm telling you, you have so much fun with them. They don't even know what is hitting them right now, okay? Like group two. Mm. All right, so let's see here. Boom. Oh, <laughs> your strong hips. All right, so I do see like, it's funny because like, look at how like everything here, the hips are very emphasized, okay? Um, see how like the, the drapery, it kind of just uh, cascade around her body and then the little, the, the hip, the strong hip pops out. So you may have a very prominent hip area. You may have a, you know, if you are of that gender where you can bear children, um, uh, you may have like childbearing hips or you may have very strong sporty hips that really really makes people like ah oh, that area you know like that area where the the hip area goes across to the other side and then you have your you know obviously you have your genitals on the bottom and then that area that triangle triangular uh area is mm, that's what i'm ta saying like you guys are really really you have this physique around the hip area that makes people go crazy. Like my hands are shaking because it's it's super sexy, okay? Like don't underestimate you. All right, so let's see here. You have got, oh, wow. First is the way you cook and now it's the way you clean. Group number two, I swear you are like great home, uh, caretakers you know how to cook you know how to clean that's super sexy you're you it doesn't matter what ge your gender is you just love to do those things because you're self-sufficient all right you know how to do those things because you don't need anybody else to do those things for you this is why the way that you are you've got you pick number two your lover has to match your energy it's very important, crucial for you. Um, and when you do find that person, you give yourself 110% to that person. And the way that you clean, right? It's almost like when you clean, and you don't mean to do anything to entice your lover, but when you clean, when you bend over, or you put this together, or do this and that around the house, um, if you do live with your lover or you visit your lover's home, literally you really you turn them on when you clean okay just keep that bear that in mind because you know next time you clean put on that beautiful outfit all right so your limbs your hips and your limbs you have a beautiful body i'm telling you whatever body you have whatever shape you have your lover is like mm, all over that okay you're super sexy i feel like I feel like your lover, after making love, they just kiss you all over. They love to bite your limbs. They love to make sure that, you know, they massage your limbs after and they just thank you for making sweet love to them. I have no idea. The way you walk. Yeah. There's a huge emphasis on your limbs, okay? You have a beautiful, sexy AF walk. Like, the way that you walk, you just... You will turn heads. You do like triple takes, like not even double takes. You you make people look at you over and over again because it, they feel like the confidence that you exude, it makes them feel like, wow, I, I wonder how this person is in the bedroom or wow, I would love to have a date with this person. I want to shoot my shot with this person. You know, this is the type of energy that, oh, let me save this. Let me actually open one more. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. All right, so spirits said just pick it. Boom. Two kittens you must choose. Ah, oh, you may have a not a split personality, but you may have like a um alter ego during in the bedroom, all right? Alter ego in the bedroom. You may turn like I said, the dominatrix energy, okay? Oh, your head shape. You have a beautiful head shape, all right? Oh my gosh, group number two. Can I, do I need to say more? You guys are the ish, all right? So with that said, I hope you had so much fun. I really did enjoy it. I love doing readings like this because, you know, I'm a fun person too. And so to let you know uh, that if you feel called to go ahead and check out my Etsy shop, uh, just check that out in the link tree. Um, if you feel to like watching another uh, pick a pile, go ahead and feel free to do that. I'll see you in my next one, okay? Bye. Hi guys, have you picked out this time stamp? It is for group number three. Yes, hi group three. Thanks for joining me here. 
All right, so, oh, I'm so excited. So basically, this title really attracted you to here, so there's a reason why, okay? So basically, the title is, if you didn't see the intro, it is called, What Makes You Super Attractive and Why Are You Super Sexy AF, okay? I'm talking about AF, like legit strong. So now you pick number three, and this could also talk about, um, now again, if you are under 18, please hop off. This is an 18 plus edition, okay? So number three talks about, you know, just more than two people in the bedroom, right? So basically that is what I'm talking about, but it doesn't necessarily have to be about that, but you may be, you know, all about that, that third party type of thing. Uh, now you've got, you, if you don't resonate with that, um, you may still resonate with other things. So you may continue. If not, you can pick another pile, but this is very specific about like the way that you, uh, express yourself physically. You may like to give massages, right? You may love, uh, a tighten and toned body. You don't have to, you may feel like you're very fidgety. So you like to touch everything, right? You may like to roll your hands all over your lover's body, or you may like that on you. Um, I feel like you like very stern and girthy things. <laughs> Let's just say you like to amp it up in ways that it, it's like if people want to be at level one or two, you want to be at level three, okay? You like that. Um, group number three. So let's actually pull some tarot cards for you or some oracle cards. Spirit, show me the way. Which one? All right. So we are actually going to go with this one here. Um, you are a visual because for me to want to pick this one first, you may be an artist. You may be a stylist. You may be in the beauty industry. You may be people that really love colors. Something like you eat with your eyes first. I feel like you really, really eat with your eyes first. Meaning visual is everything for you. With that, dude, that flew out so hard. I feel like when you <laughs> when you make your lover um you know reach to the to the the end part, right? I I have to be censored here. You make them shoot really far, or you make them feel like like it was like a boom, like a hit, and or it flies out really fast, right? Um, that's, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how else to express it, but it's almost like it felt right out. Show me more. Okay. All right. So let's see what we've got here. I just had a soda. I don't normally drink a soda during a reading, but you may be very, um, addictive. Like you feel like, like you, caffeine is probably a thing. Um, boom. All right. So let's see. Yeah, Psh. did I not say, I mean, you have decaffeinated tea too, but like, I feel like with tea, it's, it can be addictive. Okay. And it has caffeine. So I feel like you're, you're the medicinal kind of, uh, addictiveness. Like your, their addiction to you is healthy for some reason. I don't know if that's a, if that makes sense, but like, it's almost like you are, you know, um, I think there's a lot of negative connotation attached to the word addictive or addiction. This is not that type of addiction, okay? I'm talking about like you may make them feel like they can be addicted to you and it's okay, right? That's the thing. Um, like I said, color, right? A lot of colors, you may wear a lot of bright floral colors, right? It doesn't matter what gender you are, you may love colors. Um, and then visualize you are, you love to visualize something about your hair as well and your back. I feel like, you know, it's kind of like you want to massage the back area, right? Or you, uh, you know, you may have a beautiful hairstyle or you may love braids. You may be into hair, like I said. Um, but I feel like there's something spiritual about you guys. Like I feel like number 11 is a very significant number 30. Okay. Um, number three, I feel like three is also a thing for you. Um, what else am I picking up here? So, you know, this kind of reminds me of this energy of like, you may not even realize that there's so many people watching you because you're looking over there, but there's like, boom, eyes on you. Like, even as you're walking, you may have a beautiful, uh, you know, body that people just kind of take a glance only when 
Uh, you may intimidate people as well. I feel like you do. I feel like you, yeah, you do. I feel like they're so intimidated by the fact that you're super sexy that um, they got to wait until you walk past them to look at you. You know, triple take, high possibility. All right, so let's pull some more. Um, let me actually pull this. I almost forgot to pull these out. So I went, spent some time, if you watched pile one and two already, I spent some time to channel these beautiful, sexy messages for you. So let's see here. Pile number three. What are you guys all about? Wow. Wow. Spirit was like, grab a whole heaping spoonful of this. Okay. Like a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. <laughs> I feel like you are the type of person, like a massage, right? What's the pain point? The pain point is that the, the area of the body or a certain spot that you feel pain in or discomfort, you will ease that pain, okay? You know how to make uh, your lover feel like you ease them in, you you make them feel better, okay? Very relaxing energy, very, mm, just really definitely decadent. Um, your tattoos, all right, I didn't expect that because I did not see that. That that was a surprise for me. Your tattoos, something about your tattoos that makes people feel um, adventurous, but at the same time safe. I don't know if that if I'm expressing that properly, but something about your tattoos that are really sexy. The way that you place, you may have a back tattoo. All right, you may have a tattoo in areas that um, that people may have to kind of you know look in behind <laughs> you may have a tattoo on your butt that's a possibility too um or maybe like maybe even like a birthmark how you dress to the nines for special events yes look at that sexy af it doesn't matter what your gender is i feel like you really really do pull in you know you pull in that beautiful cohesive look and you love to uh bring it up you know amp up the the energy when it comes to to dressing up you know you may like role playing that's the thing maybe that's what that third party is about maybe it's not another person but it's just another pretend person that you pretend to be uh through role playing right with your lover that's a high possibility now let's um let's see what else you got here group three your imagination you're full of visualization okay you love 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 to role play it makes you feel really good i feel like you get stimulated when you do role play i feel like that's something that you really love or maybe you have been thinking about it and you have a lot of different fantasies right visualize your imagination you have a lot of fantasies and i feel like sometimes you take people's breath away i just had to like say something in one fell swoop because i'm so afraid you're gonna run away right or be slip away slip away for, through my fingers that's how sexy you are people get intimidated by the fact that you're so beautiful that they're afraid that you might just slip through their fingers. And so therefore they have to shoot their shot or say things really fast. Remember how that, that card, was it this card? I don't know which one fell out really fast, but people, they're, it's almost like this duality at a dual energy where there's a group of you that will intimidate people and people can only look at you from afar. And then there's another group where there's like, oh man, you know what? I, I see this person. Let me go. Let me go ask them out before somebody asks them out because I, they're too hot. Like, it's just, I need to take this chance now or else I'm going to lose this spot. It's kind of like that energy. Okay. All right. So your, <laughs> what? your voice do you sing or is it just your voice the tone of your voice the way that you express yourself in the bedroom i feel like you talk but you talk and ease in okay you ease in the bedroom you really really love to express yourself in such like an asmr type of voice i don't have that so sorry you're not gonna get it here but <laughs> But, you know, I can understand what they're talking about when it comes to your voice. You may have like a way to express yourself. You may actually have a raspy voice that people love. Or you may have like this sweet, sensual ability to like whisper. Whisper in your lover's ear at the right time. You may slip a little, you know, if uh, if your lover's wearing a dress or if your lover is wearing a shirt. Um, you know, you may, you may 
you know, rub their back at the same time, pull them in, you know, and whisper in their ear or something like that. Like you really, you're very sensual. You're sensual, you're sexy. You are just like, they feel protected by you too. Like for some reason, they know you got their back, okay? I, I don't know why I correlate, maybe I'm biased to this. Like I, when I see tattoos, I feel like, wow, hardcore, you know? Like mm, they must know some like Krav Maga or something. <laughs> necessarily mean it's true but you know i there's something about like the strength you know because to, for me getting a tattoo is not easy right that it hurts you know <laughs> you may not mind physical pain right you may like a little pinch here and there who knows Ooh, look at this it says your mouth game in the bedroom you're good with your mouth okay your mouth is like when when you start you know when you start doing working your mouth it's like they can't believe they're they it's it's so addictive it's so addictive like they feel look at that smile <laughs> she's got in her come on you guys it's group three come on like i'm telling you i'm telling you when you work your mouth game group number three look at that flow you see that flow it gets really flowy if you know what i'm talking about here <laughs> All right, let's move forward. Um, boom. Let's see. How extremely talented your tongue is. What? This is in tandem. In tandem to each other. Your mouth game in the bedroom. How extremely talented your tongue is. I'm telling you, your tongue is like gold. You know? You know how to work your tongue in a way that it's like it tickles. It feels good. You know how when to pattern things out. You know when to you know, do the section stuff, you know, when to swirl, you may be very good at these things, right? And if, you know, and then it goes to, to all genders, right? You're just very good with your mouth on whatever type of bottom that you're working on, okay? You're good hygiene, yes. Oh my gosh, they love your hygiene and they love to learn from you when it comes to this so they may even want like constructive criticism because number three can also talk about um a, a, a teacher right because number three correlates to like a guru or a teacher or like a guide so you guide them right you guide them with your tongue or you guide them uh, to make sure that their tongue is on the right spot you're a great teacher you're a great lover you're a great teacher uh, in the bedroom, you're, you have great hygiene. So you lead by example, right? You make sure that your body is nice and kept. Your stature and posture. Okay. So that makes sense with this card here, the visualize. So basically the way that you carry yourself, the way that you walk, the way that you, uh, stand up. Okay. Your back is very, you have great posture. All right. Um, your shoulders are, you know, straight up and back. It's just, it shows that you've really, really taken great care of your posture and you carry yourself well. well. Okay, so Spirit, show me some more. Show me some more. All right, they said animal, Spirit animal. Um, Let's see here. Oops, I don't want to like miss anything, so let's move this aside. All right, Spirit, thank you so much for that. Show us number three. What else does number three have? that makes people go crazy because they're sexy AF. All right. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so. Wow. I just can't place this card down. I feel like with that energy, when I couldn't place the deck down into its slot, um, some of you, if you do carry a genital that needs to be fit in a slot, if you know what I mean, you won't be too girthy for some people, okay? Like, they gotta make sure, they gotta make sure they are, they are lubricated. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? I have no idea. But like, they gotta make sure that the area is, you know, slippery enough because they will be needing that. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, <laughs> Snow Leopard, self-reliance. You're strongly independent and often solitary. 
Integrity is important for you, for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Yeah, you really are like a teacher. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. Now, snow leopard, right? They can also be, I mean, even though they are, they're very fast, right? Remember that card fell out really fast. You might really be like, I don't know. I feel like you have like, if you do do the thrusting, you might have a really good thrusting game, okay? We're talking about, like, yeah. <laughs> um, you may pounce. You may like to pounce on your lover, you know, scratch him a little. Mm. I mean, you may need, like I said, in all the other piles, I'm telling you, this pick a card is steamy, okay? I wasn't kidding. Your confidence, yes. Oh, my God, yes. You are very confident. It's because you know what you got, all right? You know your game is on point. Your sexy lips. Oh my goodness. The way that you you pout. I just saw someone pouting, but not on purpose. I think you may have a pouty lip naturally. And your lover is like, oh my gosh, why does this person have such a pouty, sexy AF lip? Like seriously. Like it gets them going. And I feel like, you know how like... um. Uh, when you get extra, extra um, hot and bothered, right? You Your lips become rosy because of the blood flow that's going through the action of feeling that hot and botheredness, right? So your lips are really extra sexy when it comes to you being in that mood. When you're in the mood, it's like your lover can tell, ooh, that person's lips is turning red. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go into the bedroom now, stat, <laughs> okay? That's what I'm talking about with that fast energy, like, you might be good. Like, I feel like your quickies are not quickies, but they are quickies. Does that make sense? Like, they feel like, they feel like you basically gave them a whole, like, mm, shebang in one quick fell swoop, even though it was a quickie, if that makes sense. But you guys are running a lot longer than most of the other piles. Let me actually run through here. Spirit was like, hey, 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 look at the time. All right, so... Your curvy body, your body is so beautiful. All right. And then when you wink at them, you're sexy. You are teasy. Like you tease. You tease your lover. Sorry, I have to go through this. I feel like I'm not being fair here, but you guys are really are steamy. How sensual you are. Yes, with that massage. We did talk about that, right? You guys are so sensual. <gasps> did we not talk about your thrust game? Did we not talk about that? You guys, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you saw that pile, right? That was a big bowl of stuff, and you got that one. If they were stranded on an island, you'd be the one they would want with them. Oh, my goodness. See, I'm talking about, like, the way that you are. They they can count on you, and they, they really feel like you make a really great teacher and a leader, okay? So with that said, you lead really well. Group number three, if you feel like checking out all my other content or even check out my products on, you know, for a private reading, check that out on my channel. With that said, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hello there. If you picked out this time stamp, it is for group number four. Yes, hi, group four. Thanks for joining me here. Boom. All right. So I like to play with you guys. All right. So first of all, First things first, if you are under 18, this is the 18 plus video, so please hop off. Hop off, please. It's not for you. With that said, let's move forward. So pile number four, if you were attracted to this uh, pick a pile because the title is What Makes You Super Attractive and Sexy AF, okay? And I'm, I'm going all in here. Now, you guys, you guys are, if you guys do carry this type of stature when it comes to the bottom equipment, y'all are long, long, okay? Long and just reachable. You can hit that G-spot really well. Um, I feel like you may also be into toys that are very unorthodox, okay? Maybe not the traditional toys that you may think. You may actually also be a very spiritual person because they actually have stones that are created, especially not this one, because this one actually don't ever, ever, first of all, okay, let you know, you have to read up on different stones, right? And the, the texture and the way that they break off. Not every single stone can be made into a, you know, a sexual toy, right? So you have to make sure that you're picking stones that do not 
break apart easily. And this is because this is the salt crystal. You never want to put this inside of you, okay? Just letting you know. Um, do your research first. Now, number four is talking about stability. You like stability. You really do. Um, I feel like the way that that you make love, it makes people stay. The way that you make love, it's, it's very rare that people wouldn't stay, you know? Because it's just, they get addicted. They like the way that you... You're very uh, reliable, accountable, right? So let's pull out some notes. Ooh, let's pull out some notes first and then we're gonna dive deeper into whatever oracle or tarot deck that spirit wants to show me. Spirit, show us number four. Okay, number four. All right, so there's some left over, but those are not yours, so it didn't come into my fingers. Um, okay, that, that didn't sound right, but anyways. All right, so... <laughs> Like I said, whatever I'm channeling, whatever I am channeling, okay? Uh, mm, I'm going to try to make this censored, all right? So your food. Wow, okay. What a way to step back that, uh, tone that down and cool that down first. But it could be hot foods, right? You may be that hot tamale. You may be that hot, steamy pile of food that people love to eat, right? So your food. Or maybe you're a chef and you love to cook. Or maybe you're just a great cook at home. The way that you feed your lover, oh, maybe you like to play with food while you make love. That's something that I just saw. Oh my gosh, desserts, dirt, whipped cream, chocolate, oh, chocolate syrup, strawberries. Somebody be rubbing that strawberries everywhere. Just be careful with food though, okay? You don't want anything stuck inside somewhere that you're, it's not supposed to. And, you know, that's just another health thing. But anyway, so let's get back to the sexiness. So your food, you may play with food um, as long as you play safely have at it right you like to tease your your lover too like maybe a banana into the mouth something like that you know what i'm saying <laughs> yes i have that side of me your decollete Ooh, your decollete if you don't know what a decollete is it's the chest it's the chest area like from one shoulder to the next and the lower jaw uh, like the lower jaw line the neck area the upper chest area that's the decollete where the necklace would fall right on top that area is super sexy on you like you really know how to take care of your chest area in that spot the decollete or you may be a um an esthetician right because i'm an esthetician so i'm very familiar with this word i may not be spelling it properly but I feel like you guys are very good with your hands and the way that you rub that area or even like tease, like sometimes you'll like drape your fingers across and make them feel like, oh, what the heck? Like, are you kidding me? I'm working right now, but let's go. Let's do this. You know, they, they can't, it's like, uh, you, you know, you need to, you need to get off because it's, it's almost like they can't stop. Like they have to make sure they take care of themselves with you before they even can continue to work because you just do that to them. That's the decollete area. It's a very sensual, sexy, right? Um, let's see here, what else? The way you French kiss. Mm -hmm. You're a great French kisser. Your mouth tastes so good. You have a nice, fresh breath. You may actually be very uh, adamant about making sure that your breath is fresh you the way that you swirl your tongue around and the way that you lead and pull back as to tease the other person's tongue to make sure they follow and come and come into your you know follow your mouth you know follow your tongue i feel like you really are such a great french kisser like you really know how to work the tongue the the cheeks um your lips the way that it it you know kind of latches on it's just the way that you really do this French kissing session is just like people will pay for your French kissing lessons, you know, like you really, really, <laughs> you've got this down pat. Like, I feel like you, I can talk about your French kissing all day, but let's move forward. Spirit was like, Hey, they have more. They do. I know. Let me look. Okay. So spirit, show me which cards spirit said, how about the really, really naughty one? I call this naughty because, you know, the girls on there kind of look like really naughty and stuff. So let's see. Group number four. Ooh, wow. Did you see that? Like you, when you, when you, when you treat your lover, it's like bar none. You don't hold back. 
All right, so let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. I feel like before I even open these up, I feel like number four kind of reminds me of like you have to have a really nice set place to really take time. You like to take your time when it comes to making love. You don't like, um, I mean, you don't, not that you don't like them. You don't prefer quickies. You prefer a really long, elongated session of foreplay and um you know just really getting down and dirty but slowly you know because building right number four talks about stability it talks about building a foundation you really want to build up that momentum like this you know that's how you are and we love that boom pose brave flight that beautiful melancholy kind of poet you you have a very different kind of streak to you you're very unique because edgar Allan poe really is and you have like a dark side to you that your lover actually really loves you have dark humor but not in like a, an extremely scary way it just kind of makes people feel like oh i want to see more i want to see what you've got here what have you got peeking through there i feel like when you wear a very beautiful either if you wear um, an erotic outfit or like a lingerie or something like that, whether it doesn't matter what your, your gender is, I feel like you really know how to do a sneak peek, okay? Like you make people, cause you see how this bird is just like, just going up, like it just reminds me of the peak. So you do a lot of sneak peeks. You, you, you like to make sure that they have those glasses ready and make sure you get to look at something. So and her dress is very sheer like or like very uh you know light so i feel like you like to dress in a way that makes people feel like they want to see more but they see enough to want to know that they want to see more if that makes sense oh my god beauty and the beast what you need some space in a relationship okay so with this card it's not about the space thing it just feels like i feel like when it comes to making love to your lover because this is what the the um the pick a card is about right the space has to be spacious you don't like a small area because you want to be all around you want to take your time right you want to toss your lover around or maybe be tossed around by your lover you want to have like maybe like your bed is made up so nicely but you also made a space in the floor ready to be had right there right on the ground right or maybe you have like a little chase thing that you lay down on to be you know uh you know ravaged in that way who knows um the mermaid of immersion complete commitment 44 wow dude come on synchronicity you keep getting 444 we're talking about like so mermaid really talks about uh, the mermaid of immersion like you people really get immersed with you right within your soul you are you have the siren ability to call them forward to make sure hey look at me you know like you may have a way to kind of lure lure your lover into the bedroom or you may have a way to actually make them feel like they're in a different place in space um more than what really is in the, like you're great with also you're great with illusions like maybe you know how to decorate a room to make it look like it's bigger than it really is right or something like that with the with the space but when it comes to you yourself it's almost like you're so seductive there that's the word you're very seductive okay so boop 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 mm, group number four your teeth <laughs> first you got the french kissing thing okay so something about your teeth oh wow okay i just saw a great mouth like you have a sexy set of teeth like i feel like um i just saw canines but even if you have straight teeth i feel like there's something about your teeth the way that it's positioned right the way that your mouth is shaped your teeth the way that you talk sometimes it hit, the lips hit the teeth in a way that makes them they they literally get off on that they people really love the way that you talk the way that you express yourself the way that your teeth hits your lips the corner of your mouth the way that your teeth kind of like pokes through just slightly when you're talking in a certain way I feel like you are very extremely charming um let's see what else spirit one more and then we're gonna do more cards okay 
Group number four, what is this? I feel like I need to slow down. Slow down for what? Because you love the chest and breast area. I feel like, oh my gosh, if you actually may carry a really nice chest, okay, or breast, um, I feel like you have a really great rack on you. You know, you kind of, people can really immerse themselves on you, right? Mermaid of immersion. So if you have a really nice chest area, they just want to go face plant themselves in there. You know what I'm saying? All right, so <laughs> let's pull some more. Okay, so Spirit said do the, yeah, do this card. Spirit, show us the way. Show us more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Slow down. Oh, you like it slow and sensual. I keep hearing the slow down thing. Slow and sensual build up. A build up is really, wow, because you want the, the climax part to be like extremely good. You don't, you like to invest time in um, lovemaking. I believe that you really do cherish it. Like you cherish a lover. Ooh, okay. They said take it all. Take it all. All right, so the moon, you're very mysterious, like I said, right? That that illusion feeling, that feeling of like, mm, what you got between those legs right there? You know, the, it's funny because these do look kind of like those, you know, those things that swims. <laughs> I got to keep it censored, guys. Group number four. Anyways, so you just imagine these are legs, right? And... People want to, people want to plant some plants in you. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously. All right. So lovers, they, they really cherish you when they become your lover. They like, you make them feel so good that like just having you is more than enough. Okay. You're very mysterious because you know, mm, and let's see these words here. I don't even have to say that out, out loud. You're good at that. You are good at that. Okay. The high priestess knows all, but says very little, but she, the high priestess knows all. Can okay, very good, very good with, with, very knowledgeable. And you rock and shake their world, the tower, a surprise. You're very adventurous when it comes to the way that you make love, the way that you create that session time with your lover. You don't ever, at, well, it's very rare that you disappoint. It's very rare. You knock their crown off the top of their head. You're just that type of lover. Like you feel, they feel like they just got shocked with such, you know, steaminess. They can't even stay still, you know? It's like you, you shock them. That I don't think that anybody has ever found somebody like you guys before. I'm not kidding. And we were just talking about that, right? The way you tease. Oh my gosh, you guys are such teasers. I feel like you guys really know how to work your voice. Did you get that voice one in here? I don't know. Something about the way that you whisper, the way that you tease, the way that you like maybe wink at your lover or maybe even like say something and all of a sudden you run off and for them to catch you. You're very fun. Yeah. And you're the kind of fun that's like very... um it's almost like you're very consistent, right? You don't like, you know, one day you're so much fun and another day you're like boring and just a, like a dead fish. You're not like that. You are very consistent. Oh my gosh, look at this. The way your body perks up when you get excited, okay? This can also be talking about, you know, when you get excited, right? But it can also talk about maybe your body kind of gets really like antsy and it perks up. And when you're excited about something, it's almost like people can tell it in your body. And you get like really excited and you're like, oh yeah, let's go do this. Or like, you know, you play and you really, really uh, move your body in a way that your lover's like, yeah, it's time. Let's do this. You know, it's like there's no mistaking anything with you because you're very good with showing what you want but at the same time you also show in just enough so that it kind of makes them question like hmm okay they want this but oh maybe they want something else too you know that's the kind of energy i'm picking up Yo, oh my gosh look your transformation i feel like you have worked really hard on your body okay you have worked your body to make certain parts of your body really extremely extremely sexy 
um, whatever that may may be for you you may it doesn't matter what shape you are whether you're curvy or slender you're there's some type of transformation but it also talks about the way that you transform the energy right um like i said you're a builder you like to build like that you know because transformation is basically building you know so your ability to share wealth oh my goodness I know this is not a physical thing, but I feel like when it comes to when you have a lover that is not uh, stingy, not, you know, too frugal or whatever, because when you are willing to share your wealth and wealth could be, you know, pertaining to anything, it doesn't have to be about finances, right? But a lot of the times it does kind of go into hand in hand, side by side with finances and something else. Um, but I feel like when you have wealth, you like to share that with your lover, okay? So let's open the rest of it because we are running low on time. Your presentation, the way that you present yourself, right? You don't present your your meals, uh, if you know what I mean. You need you like to make sure that you look good to present yourself in a way that you really turn them on. Corner of your lips, something about your lips, guys. Come on. Like I said, did I mention that earlier? I think I did. I saw that vision. So last but not least your foreplay pregame action before bed i told you you're a builder right you really are and there's a lot more here that doesn't so it's like there's more here and these are not yours but just to show you that these are meant to be yours okay group uh four so with that said i hope you enjoy that have lots and lots of fun um also if you want to check out if you want like a, a deeper like you know just uh what is it called a private session right a private reading sorry reading Check out my Etsy shop, and if you want to watch other content that I offered, you can check that out, but I'll see you in my next one. Have a great time!